Irrational Exuberance About Las Vegas Housing Market, July 2020. Despite news to the contrary, the Las Vegas real estate market is not out of the woods yet. In this video, we will discuss the June statistics and tell you why news headlines screaming about a new home price record are wrong. And finally, what can crush the market in a few months, and it is not the foreclosure threat. No tsunami of foreclosures in Las Vegas due to COVID-19 is expected anytime soon because 96.4% of homeowners in Las Vegas have positive equity in their homes, as we discussed in a blog. This is a big change from the third quarter of 2010 when 69.6% .6 of units were underwater. Additionally, while forbearance has stopped foreclosures and there is a moratorium on evictions, there is a great deal of premature irrational exuberance about the Las Vegas housing market in July 2020. The title of one of the Las Vegas Review Journal's housing articles on July 7th was Las Vegas Home Prices Set a Record in June as Sales Rebound. Well, at least it is half right. Home sales have rebounded some, but one should ask where your evidence that home prices have set a record in June is. Well, their evidence is that the median price of homes has increased to a record-setting $325,000 last month, up 3.2% from May and 6.9% from June 2019. But the median price only shows the middle price of homes and market direction in lower price ranges. It doesn't measure home price gains or losses. So where is your evidence again? The problem is a lack of understanding that the price per square foot ratio is the only criteria that measures home price gains or losses. It is currently at $176 per square foot and has been unchanged for the last four months. While home sales have surprisingly rebounded to 2,464 homes, the available home listings at 5,079 are down by 35% from last year. So the all-important months of listing inventory, which measures supply and demand, stood at 2.1 months in June 2020. Before we go on, let's talk about the months of listing inventory, which is calculated by dividing the number of active listings by the home sales. This number lives in isolation and is impervious to external conditions. The proof is that the current Las Vegas economic conditions are not leading to significant price cuts. Now, the only way to get price cuts is for the sales numbers to come down further significantly, which probably is not going to happen, or for the listing numbers to increase. We will discuss the latter below. Las Vegas housing market is yet to be hit by coronavirus crisis. So home prices have been steady, and there's no reason why they shouldn't be. Forbearance has stopped foreclosures, which are at least 15 months away. On the other hand, the unemployment plus the stimulus has helped more than one in four Las Vegas residents who have been receiving unemployment to pay their rent and have a little cash for other things. How long the sugar high lasts depends on the actions of the federal government later this month. Given the high unemployment in Las Vegas, if they don't issue another round of stimulus, then a large number of locals will not be able to pay rent and have to be evicted. The eviction moratorium on residential units in Nevada doesn't end until September 1st, but when allowed, it will be followed by a high number of evictions that will exponentially raise vacancy and increasingly and significantly lower rents. Give it some time and many of the cash investors who are on the hook for property tax and insurance will get tired of lack of income and put their homes or condos for sale. Add distressed homeowners who have lost their business, and this will increase the supply and months of listing inventory sharply. Then what happened from 2008 to 2011 will look like a walk in the park, and the U.S. government knows it. That is why we think that another round of stimulus is going to be underway come August. Given the current state of COVID-19 infection now, getting back to normalcy seems like a distant dream. We will be in for a hard time. Another stimulus in August will eventually run out, and we will be in the same place that we are now, unless a vaccine is manufactured and widely distributed within three or four months. Let's hope for a cure or vaccine very soon, because our livelihood depends on it. As we have repeatedly written before, if you want to sell your home or condo, do it while the going is good. We will be happy to list it for you. If you are planning to buy, wait. 
you have nothing to lose, especially in the Las Vegas luxury home sector. Home prices should not go up, and if they do, they will fall. Please like and share if you find the information in Irrational Exuberance about Las Vegas Housing Market July 2020 useful. If you want to buy or invest in Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes, please call us at 702-478-7800. You can find our contact info and webpage with the embedded video and video transcript in the video description. Please like, share, and subscribe to our Las Vegas Real Estate channel for upcoming videos. On behalf of the Sauber team, this is Karen Sauberzadeh of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com wishing you a great day.